Uh, now I painted this two weeks ago when we had the crazy temperatures with minus 10, 11 outside and uh, had two of these space heaters going on that uh, trying to warm everything up and I kind of, kind of took a game ball here I took a game ball with that really and I painted it and some of the baits came out actually extremely well I mean these the scratches from actually me watching it um, the pieces came out actually pretty well um, and all the way through apart from some huge runs there was a big one here I don't know if you can see it and uh, there was multiple around here Clive rubbed it down you can see where it was before here you can see the you see yes yeah, so and that was a big run um, and some of these brackets uh, the studs are snapped off broken so the boys have cut it off and uh, welded a new one on and put the brackets back on so this this one that one out there uh, one down here and a few on the other side been welded back on um, and just uh, put the face coat on it sort of thing with a brush uh, which is all right uh, and I'm trying to send this down a little bit today and put the final coat on it it's plus 10 outside uh, it's not cold we've got the heater going on it's not cold at all the trouble is it's, it's so damp I don't know if you can see but look at that there's just water everywhere now I don't really have to clean that bit it's from pretty much from here down um, the funny funny thing is that uh, yeah I don't know if it's coming out of the paint or what, I don't know. Um, if I damp it out with the cloth and rub it down, I've got the heater blowing on it. It's actually, it's warm to touch and, and, it's, and it's dry down there already. So I'm just going to wipe this all off. I'm going to wipe it all off and uh, rub it down, just cough it up. Uh, just cough it up a little bit. I've mentioned some filling, but I don't think so. It's made filling anyway. So the trouble with the filling, uh, it's white. And once you start painting it, to get rid of that whiteness, to match that, you need to, well, at least two or three coats on it. And yeah, yeah, it's just so cool. I don't want to, because it's all orange now. It's got a nice base coat on it, all the same color. So I just scuff it up and I find a nice coat on it to dress it up. There's plenty of protection on it. I mean, you know, um, like I said, it's, uh, most of it can turn out really well. I don't know if you look at it. It's turned out really well. Once again. How, you know, when, how was it when I painted it? So this side, uh, Let's see a bit better. Uh, a bit of filler, need a bit of filler here, tidying up, tidy this up, and then the paint will do the rest. Yeah, here and there, where it's chipped off while I was working on it. But you can, you can tell how wet it is just rubbing it off. Anyway, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean it up, clean it all up, uh, send down bits like that to level. I'll put a bit of filler in that might might do that. There's not much in there really. Get a bit of more lighting here, it's pretty dark in it. So yeah, that's the plan. Back on with that. And I've got that bonnet to paint inside of it grey. That's the first thing I'm gonna do because it's been prepped and it's dry. You know, I clean this up, uh, rub it down and let it dry and warm. While it's happening, I will uh, paint that grey from the outside over here. And there she is, uh, pretty close, very close. Looking forward to that to get it out to the sunlight. And the boys, uh, Clive and Alex, did down the carriage over Christmas. And that's looking pretty black, which is good. It was green before, which it didn't really 
showed very well. I mean, in this of the machine came out really well. I'm really pleased with it. Uh, but again, we will see most of it. We will see most of it <laughs> when he's outside in the sun. That's when the, all the little hiccups will show. Here with um, LED lights, limited lights, um, it looks fantastic. I suppose uh, <laughs> if anyone wants to look at it, just don't come too close. No, I'm just joking. It's, it, it does look, look really good. I'm, I'm pleased with it. I'm pleased with it. I think um, there's a team that we're going to be excited about, I think. All right, let's, let's get to work. it down, scuffed it up, uh, where it needs to be, uh, all the runs are gone, it's all nice and smooth, both sides, uh, still there. So, it's a 2 to 1 ratio. Highs this take like 30 seconds to paint something that size and takes hours to get ready for it. Alright, I'm just gonna wipe this off a little bit. A bit of thinner on this. Just to pick up all the dirt and anything else left on there. So 
So, Rob is here helping us. Uh, what's gonna happen here? So since it's here, it can give me a hand to put all these pipes back on. So uh, what I did quickly in this guy, so I just blew over the brackets um, with some spray to get the color and we can put the pipes on. All the brackets have been painted and yeah, nice and shiny. So we can put these back on and then once all the pipes back on um, I can paint the rest like you can see I only painted up to here. You can see where it ends here. Gosh. missing three to be exact they down here this place they held in place so we'll worry about those later same on the other side uh, we got all the bolts for this side they were down there and uh, you can see what I mean about the painting now behind the behind the hose is all painted and it looks good and I just blow the rest in once we're all done about with the ladder I decided to climb over the top of this and just sit in there and rock and pass me the bits I need long they're gonna be too long aren't they
pipes here they've been painted before uh, but they've been dragged around here and there everywhere so uh, I just um, rub it down a touch get the dirt off of it and put the final coat on this I think the best if we two of us up there and two of them down here and just this way up. That, is it hinged at the back? Uh, yeah, the hinge, the hinge is in that side. Yeah, it goes that way. So, so what do I know? We need to have us up the top. 17mm spanner. We got clean boots. You can just lay it down here actually. You can just lay it down there. Can you go around the corner? Because that's where the hinges are at the bottom. Oh fuck. Are those yeah. bolts broken off in there? No, no, they're underneath. Oh, 
Oh, okay. okay sure. Just, we just lay it down here. We can open the door and the boat's right there. <sighs> it's not really heavy. It's just awkward. We just have to open the doors. Have to open the door, and the bolts are underneath. Get it, bloody hell! Fuck me, look. Cooking on gas. You're going to save the shit. We've got to polish the roof now, look. Need a spanner. Yeah, we have to. I got one. Well, I did have one. Oh, you don't. Tip top. Oh, it's there. Hey, Rob. Bloody eyes, well, I've got a hole in that sticky tread plate here somewhere. Well, I'll just take Put that over there. We've got a pair of scissors. What do I always ring at the best time? on a torch.
here's an oil leg, nothing major. The one of the quick coupling, there's a there's one on the bottom for the for the hydraulic oil cooler. There's one in the top here which is lagging. <sighs> Up there. That one. Is it a spanner job? Uh, I'm not quite sure. I think I'm afraid we have to pull it off and have a look what's up. It's not much of a pressure there. It should be just, uh, it's a low pressure, isn't it? Uh, yeah, going in the cooler, yeah. Yeah. Normally return. Yeah, it's low pressure. So, uh, yeah, we have a look what it is. We've got an issue here with that. With the uh, seals for the hydraulic oil cooler, which has been a part. I took the hot coolers out, all of it, everything, and I did put it back together correctly. I'm pretty sure, but um, for some reason it doesn't seem to. The, the, the thing is, they're pretty simple. You can't put them back wrong. If you know what I mean? If I know if you know what I mean. That's why it's always have better to have a few more people here when you first start up the machine after a major repair. Just uh, more ice, more to see. Alright, I'm gonna pull out this seal. A bit of oil will come out of that, but you can't help it. There is a, a slice, uh, a really tiny alignment issue. That could go that way a little bit. Why uh, get a little pry bar right here, a pry bar. There is, the pry bar is again laid against the toolbox there. Like that, you see? Yeah. I don't know if it makes a difference or not. When we so that's that's how it, it looks much better like that. But that could have been an issue. What do you reckon? Well, we we'll try it. Like she looks quite square. Was that um is that rubber? Is that the seal? I I'm pretty S sure it is. Split. That's all it was in there. Watch watch your fingers. Unfortunately, I got a little pinhole in the radiator here. It's 
right up here on the fifth wane just behind everything here so I end up taking this off kind of Studs broken. So I'm gonna drill it out. It's also like a stand or no. So I just drilled through it and in the bottom uh, the stud was poking out so I just knocked it off with the chisel. Now it's not against the boom, so there's a bit less tension on it. I just try to get a easy out in it and trying to knock it out. Shouldn't be too bad. How you been, bud? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. You? Yeah, all right, yeah, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Oh Wayne, I need your uh, I need your uh, opinion. Ouch. Okay. 